All right, I've added a uh, bunch of new updates, particularly related to cross guards and Kylo Ren to the Prop US4 library. Um, so this is a, a new unstable style I'm calling Unleashed. Um, and what I did was I took my base uh, Kylo Ren unstable, which is meant to mimic the films, and I've actually enhanced it with a lot of power bursts, um, intense speed, and you're gonna get a lot of light run up. Um, that's just an increase in intensity. Um, of course, you can adjust all the settings uh, in the style editor, um, but the idea is to be just a really, really uh, kind of like an overpowered version of the unstable style. Um, and I've actually applied this in a few different ways. So this is the style itself. You can choose it as a base style. Um, and this one is the unleashed version. It's going to have all the effects in it. So you're going to have your blast, your clash, and they're all responsive. Uh, you'll get your lockup. So that lockup will actually move based on the angle of the blade. You'll get your lightning block, um, and you'll get your melt. Um, along with all the other um, responsive uh, capabilities, plus you can pick and choose all the other enhancements. You can add power-ups and cooldowns, change the ignition. Um, this one has the, uh, he actually has the dual mode ignition, so if my blade is facing up or parallel to the ground, all three blades are going to ignite at once. But if I point my saber down a little bit, it'll actually put a delay on the side blades. And you choose that in the enhancement screen. So when you choose the blades 2 and 3 code, you can actually, in the library, choose the ignition delay and choose the dual mode. And that's what enables that. And then in addition, I've actually added another unstable style. This one I'm calling Erratic. So this one is, uh, it's basically took the code from the Unleashed, but I, I made the effects er erratic in, in that they're randomized. So the bursts are going to be slowing down and speeding up, going at random speeds. The uh, intensity, so how dark and bright the blade gets, is actually also controlled. Uh, randomly, so you kind of you don't have a set pattern to any of it. It's actually all just going to be it, it continuously changing itself random, randomly. So this one is just kind of a really um, erratic version of an unstable. Um, it does have the white burst running up the blade. You can control this, the the intensity levels there, um, and then you get all your other effects. Um, so this one's also been added to the library. And then. Now with the um, with Prop OS 4, we've actually also added a force boost. Um, so I now have a, a version um, where you can actually do that unleashed as a force boost, and I'm calling it the Kylo Unleashed. Um, so when you're in your enhancement screen, you can actually choose the force boost called Kylo Unleashed and get this effect. So this is my regular uh, Kylo Ren Unstable. Um, it is designed to be similar to the film, so it doesn't have any of the white in it. Um, it's got all the, the regular motion that you see. Um, but then using uh, your force effect, um, you can actually change this blade into that Unleashed for 30 seconds. So the idea is, um, it, 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 the, of the force boost is that you get a 30 second enhancement on your blade, and then it'll run itself out. So I'm going to do the force boost now. And you'll see all of a sudden now that blade goes to that Unleashed version. And at first it's going to take over slowly, and then it speeds itself up. And this will last for 30 seconds automatically because I've done force. And then after 30 seconds, it'll just go back to the regular blade. So now, if you like the Unleashed version, but you don't want it always active, you can actually just choose it as an enhancement for your force boost. And then you can run your regular um, unstable style, but then use the enhancement for the force boost and get the, uh, the Unleashed uh, version. So now it'll return to normal. Um, and you can do the force effect as often as you like. So every time you do it, um, it'll convert from the regular, whatever style you choose, into that uh, Kylo Unleashed, and then you're able to run it from there. Um. And then lastly, um, I've actually also got new dual phase um, blade styles, and there's actually a dual phase blade style builder. Um, so dual phase, particularly the pull to the darkness, is one that's been popular for a while. Um, I've had a number of them. What I've done in the library now, and the links will be in the description, um, you can go in into the dual phase builder and you actually choose two completely unique blade styles. And you 
uh, you can select same colors, different effects, different colors, everything. And you can actually also choose how you want to control them. Um, so this version here, this is what I did was I took my Kylo Ren Unstable. This is, again, meant to be the movie version. Um, and then I set using twist control the, the new Unleashed version. So what will happen is I can have my blade be regular, be the Unstable. But now just by flipping the hilt, it will actually go to the Unleashed version. And you can choose any styles that you want. And you can have that effect either with the twist control, which is where turning your hilt will actually change the effect. Or there's also a click to change where you use the color change buttons to do the change. So it's really up to you. Um, you also don't need to have the same color. So you could have a blue blade that then turns into a red blade. You can have a, uh, you can have a green blade that turns into unstable. Um, and you control all of it. So it just gives you a lot of freedom to design your own unique styles. Um, but particularly with the Unleashed one, if it's something that you don't want to always have active, I've now added the ability for you to have it as a force boost or as a dual phase saber. So this again gives you the option where you can create that enhancement of Unleashed, but you don't have to have it running all the time. So just real quick flip of the blade, and all of a sudden I'm in the Unleashed version. And it works the same with all the other effects. Um, so you can choose any of the uh, styles you want. You go into the dual phase style builder, um, choose your blade effect, choose your color, and choose your control mechanism, and then it'll put out the code for you. And you've got now these very simple, easy to control dual phase saber uh, styles. Um, and there, there's just so many options. I can't show them all, so I just wanted to show this one since the Unleashed version is new. Um, but be sure to check it out. Um, so links to everything will be in the description, and I uh, hope you enjoy.